talk about a few friends real quick. And uh, well, friends and friends in general, and how well they take advice. Uh, friends in general don't take advice very well. Most most friends don't know how to take advice. And uh, the reason I say that, here's your typical friend. Now I'm not gonna say any names like Bradley or Haley or anything like that. But uh, your typical friend. Here's what they'll do. They'll come up to you and they'll say, hey, uh, I need some advice. You're like, all right, uh, how can I help you? And they're like, well, I'm thinking about, I don't know, selling my house and buying a spaceship. And you're like, wow, that's, uh, that, that sounds like a horrible idea. And they're like, well, you know, I just thought it'd be really cool to get a, a spaceship. And I found one for sale, and uh, uh, I think it's pretty cool looking. It's a spaceship. And you being the good friend, you're like, well, that, that still sounds like a horrible idea. And then you start listing off reasons. You know, well, it's going to depreciate in value because you're going to have to re-enter the atmosphere. And you need a house, and you can't live on the moon. And it doesn't, it's not very spacious, and it's kind of hard to throw parties in a spaceship you know whatever you give them a list of reasons right why their idea is the worst idea ever and you give the friendly good advice so here's what people do before they ever come to you they've got their mind made up but they'll be like yeah yeah you know what you're totally right that was a retarded idea you're right you're right and then like a week later they knock on your front door and they're like hey come look outside like okay and you walk outside and there's a spaceship and you're like oh you still did what we thought was a bad idea yeah well you know I just this it's a spaceship I mean what was I supposed to do it's a spaceship yeah and uh, they do whatever they're gonna do your friends are gonna do whatever the hell they want to do uh, no matter how good advice you get so what I've learned uh, the moral of this story is you being the good friend they kind of see you as a, as a jerk because you're being a good friend and they see you just kind of a negative person so what you do if you want to be seen as the good friend is no matter how bad their idea is you go along with it hey I'm, I'm thinking about getting a spaceship holy crap that sounds like a great idea. I should get a spaceship. We could both get a spaceship. You know what? Better yet, I'll come hang out in your spaceship. And just be that supportive friend. Because then they're going to be like, yeah. Because they're going to do it anyway. You might as well be the supportive guy, right? The one guy that stands out that's like, you know what? Follow your dreams. Go into outer space. Do what you want to do. And then when they have the regrets and they come back like a week later and they're like, you know, I shouldn't have got that spaceship. Uh, you know, it's, it depreciates in value and I need a house. Then you can still be the supportive friend. You're like, yeah, but, you know, live with no regrets. You know, YOLO. Not really. I don't ever say YOLO. That's the stupidest crap ever. But anyway, uh, yeah, you, you YOLO. You, but you did get a spaceship, that's cool. That's a story you'll have for the rest of your life. You had a spaceship. And you, you still, you're a supportive friend and you don't look like the douchebag that's like, I told you so. That's my friend advice because that's what I've learned over the years. No matter what, they're not listening to you. Nobody listens to what you have to say. They don't care. They've got their mind made up before they come get advice. What they want is exactly what I just said. They want somebody to support their horrible idea. And when you don't do it, they just kind of see you as a letdown. So my advice to you is if you want to be the good friend, give the horrible advice. That's what you do. And they'll appreciate you for it. That's a sad thing. Giving good advice, nobody cares. Nobody appreciates the good advice. Good advice. Hey, really quick while I can, I'm going to pull over and let this truck go by. And uh, while we're on this one, I'm going to show you a demonstration of speed shifting while... Uh...
let me let this truck go by. While I have this camera angle, I'm going to see if it'll pick it up now. Maybe it will. All right, speed shifting. You don't have to touch the clutch and up shifting. You just put pressure against it, 7,000 or so RPM. And you back off the throttle. That's speed shifting. And then down shifting, you rev match. And we're back in first. Anyway, there's speed shifting. Uh, hopefully it caught that. And I wasn't looking around too much. That's way over the speed limit, by the way. Oh my god, did y'all just see that? Wall of rain for like two seconds. Sunshine. Guarantee there'll be another wall of rain up here. Anyway.